Hey YouTubers, Warren Shramovic. Guys, I bounce every morning for 15 minutes and maybe I could just <laughs> do a YouTube video while I'm bouncing this morning. I want to talk about affirmations. I had someone reply to a video I did years ago and it was basically partly on affirmations. And the person asked a very good question and said, Scott Adams, when he does his affirmations, he does future tense where most people who've written books on affirmations are specifically uh, focused on doing affirmations in the present tense. I've tried it a couple of times myself over the years. The first time I tried it, um, I was getting out of my comfort zone and it was working. The second time I tried it, it was starting to work, but I was thinking, well, is this something I really want? Maybe you only get like three wishes and <laughs> maybe I'm going to use them up on something that wasn't important. So I did do it, but the thing of it is, the people who are have written the most books about it often say you should do present tense. Let's give you an example. Let's say your name is Mike. You live in Ohio, and you want to move to Miami, be near your families. And there's a house you could buy to make up an address, 1942 Abbott Avenue. So when you do affirmations 10 times a day, you would, in your present tense, as a mic, you say, I, I, I'm living at 1942 Ab Abbott Avenue. Um, I'm mowing the lawn at 1942 Avenue because I own a house. I own 1940. And you, you would think of yourself as already owning, as it already happened. Where when Scott Adams did his affirmations, he would be in the future tense. He would say, I, Scott Adams, will be the, the, the best or the most well-known cartoonist in the world. And that's what he became. Um, but he would always use the future tense. And so the person asked, what should you do? And I, I replied that I don't see why you couldn't do both. However, think about adding the third person. I stopped doing affirmations, but I still do when I bounce every morning for 15 minutes. I often do positive visualizations. I know right now there's people unsubscribing, like, hey, Mark, get in here. That hippie redneck guy is getting all crazy on us. You know, it's like I do positive visualizations. And uh, there, there's something like affirmation, but I don't do them once a day. And one of them I do, for reasons I won't go into, is I tell myself that I want to live to 104, but in health and happiness, surrounded by people I love. Um, not old, <laughs> alone in a wheelchair, you know, being fed oatmeal. Uh, so, yeah, I tell myself I'm going to live 24. Sometimes I would tell myself, future tense, I'm going to be, or sometimes present tense, I, I am living, I am 104 years old, and I'm surrounded. But one day, one day, I don't know why, I started saying that I was going to live 204 in health, happiness, and love in third party. I, I told myself while I was bouncing, I see Bob. I, I think of myself as Bob because that's my name on YouTube. I'm Rob. But and when I talk to myself in my head, I'm Bob. <laughs> Too much information. I was telling myself, I see Bob. I see Bob living to 104. And health and happiness surrounded by people he loves and who love him. I see, I see Bob, a cool old guy. I see Bob living to 104 years old, surrounded by love and happiness, health, physical health, mental health. I see Bob living to 104. When I said Bob as third person, something clicked inside that wasn't clicking before. And I felt like a little tingle. <laughs> Uh, you didn't sign up for this. You, you signed up for the sandwich toasters and how to make little gadgets. And you didn't sign up for me at eight o'clock in the morning telling you about me tingling. But it is Rob's homemade life. And this is part of my life. And this is I'm making it up as I go along and see what happens. This is this is Scott Adams book, How to Fail at Almost Everything and Still Win Big. He goes into detail about affirmations in the book. And he says specifically, 
emphatically, there's no scientific proof. In fact, he doesn't say that he believes affirmation works. He says that that's his perception. He doesn't have any evidence, scientific, but it is his perception. It works. Then he goes over like half a dozen reasons why maybe he has those perceptions. And it's very interesting. I think he described affirmations better than any other person or other book I've read. And some people have been writing about it for years. They made a career out of it. So I recommend his book highly. But I, I do think affirmations work. And I don't know why I haven't done them more. Maybe because, like I said, I'm afraid that they'll actually work. Um, but I haven't heard anybody talk about doing them in the third person. So if you do affirmations, or even if you don't, and you start doing them, I don't see why you can't do them in the first person and third person, but or, or first person in future tense, but also try doing them in the third person. Because um, when I did that, it just something kind of clicked. And I felt like this is happening, you know. Um, what are the changes since I started doing the affirmations and talking about living 204? Once I started focusing on wanting to live 204 in health, physical and mental health, I started reading a lot of books on becoming healthier, physical and mental. I got books on aging well, on how to be a better old person in, in uh, physically and mentally and, and finding different things to eat, different ways to exercise. And then just the other day on Amazon, I noticed there was a book written by someone he decided to live to 120. <laughs> I'm thinking, I only wanted to live to 104. He's living to 120. <laughs> what was wrong with me? <laughs> so I'm spending at least a third of my time on YouTube watching videos about health and uh, becoming a better person, personal development. And of course, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. You know, we... We want certain things and sometimes they don't happen most of the time. <laughs> so, you know, I could croak tomorrow or start robbing banks this afternoon. <laughs> you, you never know, but, uh, I see myself by doing positive visualizations every day when I'm on the trampoline, it, makes me feel a little bit better during the day about at least two percent and i tell people if the casinos can make billions of dollars off two percent advantage this gives me a two percent advantage i'm doing it so i won't make this video any longer than it has to be just try doing your affirmations and a third person and see what happens um if you if you lived 104, you all come visit sometime. Say hello. All right, guys. <laughs> Take care. See you out there. I see Bob living to 104. I see Bob 104. Cool old guy in health and happiness, surrounded by love. <laughs>